This video is of a storm that occurred in the early hours of 622-2011. It's interesting because it shows how the Thunderbolt detects a storm as it forms and gains energy as it approaches my location. So while there was a chance of thunderstorms, they really weren't looking for the thunderstorms to be active for another two and a half or three hours or at four o'clock. That's what makes owning a Thunderbolt storm detector so valuable because it detects the unexpected and gives you the early warning you need to seek safe shelter. The green arrow indicates my approximate location. The red circle shows the storm activity that's developing and that the Thunderbolt's detecting. Now I'm going to zoom in on the radar picture to give you a little bit better picture of what's happening with the storm and how it, you can see how it's intensifying as it approaches my location. Um, as is typical of uh, squall lines and multiple storms, um, it's going to become local very rapidly. And you'll see that uh, it measures activity at 13 miles and then suddenly there's a strike in front of the storm and that's because the atmospherics are again very unstable when it comes to a squall line most of the lightning activity in the front of the storm uh, was cloud to cloud but the uh, thunderbolt did detect at least one cloud to ground strike uh, in the local area or within eight miles of where I was uh, located and uh, declared the storm local and dangerous. Now I didn't hear and I did not hear any uh, cloud to, to ground strikes which is uh, that lightning uh, I, first I didn't see it and I didn't hear it because it normally would sound like a, a branch breaking with a crack and a loud boom but uh, could have happened more than uh, three or four miles away and you wouldn't hear it. I did want to show you a screenshot in the top right corner of Strike Star which shows activity uh, over the last hour and uh, you can see for all the activity that's going on outside there aren't a whole lot of strikes and uh, typically in a, in a very active storm there would be a lot of cloud to ground activity a lot more information for the thunderbolt to analyze and to to track i actually would have thought there was more activity would have shown on that but i think i might have uh, gotten that screenshot before it had chance to update i continue to see the storm moving away less than 15 minutes to clear to show you what's showing up on the radar map and no, look how that storm just disappears right right over my location it's just all the energy is just gone but the thunderbolt is very conservative on telling you when that storm is clear because it wants to make absolutely sure that there's no cloud to ground lightning uh, lurking because again most people are struck when they think the storm has cleared so you have to be particularly careful also note that uh, see how the storm and see the next the next closest storm is with no approach I'll circle that down there so you can see what it sees right there that's the storm it's seeing after the the local storm tracks very well But I just want to emphasize again, if uh, your Thunderbolt is reporting a squall line and multiple storms, the best thing to do is head for shelter and uh, don't go by the ETA because the atmospherics are just so incredibly unstable. It's better to err on the side of caution.